Welcome back, everybody. Preventing teen pregnancy and encouraging healthy teen relationships is the goal of one local organization. Joining us are Amanda Forsmark and Angela Williams. They're both from Health Delivery in Saginaw. Welcome to both of you. Good morning. You. We're going to talk about Health Delivery in a second, but let me start with you, Amanda. Mm -hmm. You've got an event coming up this weekend, and you're encouraging healthy teen relationships, mm -hmm. trying to prevent teen pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. How big of a problem is that? Um, well, actually, in the state of Michigan, in the last 10 years, teen pregnancy, is we've seen it on the decline. And, um, but we attribute some of that to a lot of our prevention um, that we're doing in the schools with our school-based health centers. Um, in Saginaw, we have school-based health centers at Saginaw High School and Arthur Hill High School, and we do a lot of prevention as far as teaching kids about the consequences if mm -hmm. they have sex and um, also ways that they can prevent themselves from getting pregnant and getting STDs. Anything um, you could tell a teen who might be watching this morning about uh, um, why this is such a life changing thing when you become pregnant? You know, it has a lot of um, correlation with as far as finishing school, mm -hmm. moving on. You know, teens have a unique opportunity to kind of be selfish and get to make all their own decisions when they're young because they don't have tied down to right. a job or um, a family and things like that. And so um, once they become, they, if they choose to have a family early on, it may make some of those um, opportunities a little bit more difficult. Let me talk to you, Angela. Um, tell me a little bit about health uh, delivery, that organization, and why you're sponsoring this event this weekend. Health delivery has been around in Saginaw County and outlined about 14 outlying counties for yeah. about 44 years now. And health delivery is a federally qualified health center, okay. community health center. And we have sponsored school-based health centers since 2005. This is a big deal because of the fact that we strive to educate our kids in a manner that is kid-friendly, youth-oriented, as well as uh, friendly and, um, I would say, in terms of parents, uh, a welcoming and engaging type of environment. Amanda, tell us about this event on Saturday. Um, it's Saturday, April 13th. It's called Real Talk, and basically we are going to, um, we have six different breakout sessions the youth can participate in. We talk about healthy relationships, STD and HIV awareness, um, pregnancy prevention. We're Is this about, for parents or for um, kids or it, both? Both, actually. Yeah. We have um, a section that's just for youth, um, and that's the things that I was just talking about, but we also mm -hmm. have a parent um, engagement workshop that's going on, and the parents are um, going to talk get some tips about how to talk to their kids about sex. Thank you both for joining us this morning. Thank Jason. you.